Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. So, what was it all about today on the security updates? Well, we have a total of 63 security flaws. Now, keep in mind that these are on different products. They're not all in Windows. Windows has its share of security hub flaws, but um, they are also on other Microsoft products like Office and Edge and so on. So um, one of them is actually uh, stated and classified as a actively exploited Windows vulnerability. So for that reason, it's kind of important to go and make sure that you go to your Windows updates to check out for your security updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, and if we take all of the different um, problems, 18 are elevation of privileges vulnerabilities. Out of them, there's, uh, I believe, six that are critical. One security feature bypass, 30 remote code execution vulnerabilities, seven information disclosures, seven denial of services, and 16 edge chromium vulnerabilities. So uh, the 16 that are counted here are um, were fixed and are not included in the count. So the 63 have to do with other products. Uh, for the ones on uh, Edge, they were already fixed uh, with the different updates that we had in the past. So uh, there's two zero days, but there's one that is actually actively exploited in the Patch Tuesday updates. So that's very important to do a update for that reason. Uh, the actively exploited zero-day vulnerability is a Windows common log file system driver elevation of privilege vulnerability. So it says that an, an attacker who successfully exploited this flaw could gain system privileges. So this is according to Microsoft's advisory. So they were discovered by different uh, security researchers. Now, there's uh, different security uh, vulnerabilities. The .NET frameworks actually have some important security flaws. So that is uh, the reason why a .NET framework update was there today also. Uh, in Windows itself, there's uh, a few critical flaws. Like I said, their Windows um, Internet Key Exchange protocol extensions has a flaw. There's... Um, what else in here? Windows TCP IP remote code execution. So this is also a critical flaw, but there's a lot of important flaws also in there. Now, what are the numbers for the different versions? If you're on Windows 10, if you're on Windows 10 and you type your WinVer command, so here I'm on Windows 11, but if you're on Windows 10 and you did this, what you should see on Windows 10 is 19042, um, for those that are supported, but 19043, 19044, or 19045, if you're on 22H2, the ending dot 2006, and that's where it's important, dot 2006. If you're there, you're up to date with the updates. If you're on Windows 11, 21H2, the original Windows 11, you're at 22,000.978. 22,000.978, your update was KB5017328. Uh, and if you're on 22H2 like I am, it updated to 22621.521. So uh, different numbers, of course, with different builds. So uh, just to make sure that you update that... Um, Security flaw to zero day that's exploited in the wild is dangerous. And uh, for the rest, of course, uh, some of you will wait. I'll uh, come back tomorrow or after or in a day or two with um, the report on how well the updates have gone. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.